Okay, question uh, 14. And this is a bit of a horrible question. It's a bit of a mixture of thirds and ratio. So it gives us an expression for A and an expression for B. And it tells us that C and D, the bits in the expressions here, are in the ratio 1 to 9. I need to find the ratio A to B. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. There are several ways you can do it. But if I look at B, that's the square root of uh, square root of 63 plus, and it would be the square root of D, but actually, why don't I write it uh, as the square root of C and see how this relates to this one. So instead of this D, I'm going to write it. Now I'm going to use this relationship. I know that, um, I know that, what do I know? That one bit there's one bit for C for every nine parts, or one part of C for every nine parts of D. So that means that to get these the same size, I need nine lots of C's. Nine lots of this one will be the same size as this. Okay, so if I should have square root D in here, I should, that's actually the same as the square root of 9C. I've got to multiply C by 9 to get it the same size as 1D. This is nine times bigger. So, then I can start doing some uh, using my thirds and all this and simplifying. Square root of 63 is square root of uh, 9 square root of 7 plus square root of 9 the square root of c. So I just split this up into a 9 times 7 and I split this up into a 9 times c. Well, square root of 9 is actually 3, so that makes 3 root 7 plus. 3 root c. And if you spot now, this looks kind of similar to this up here, except everything has been multiplied by 3. So if I take out a factor of c, that is really saying that b is equal to 3a. That's what it's saying. That's what this expression is saying. So if b is equal to 3a, then, well, if I write the ratio A to B, let's think about what I did up here with the 9C, then, well, A must be worth 1, and B must be worth 3. It takes me 3 A's to get to the same size as B, so therefore A is going to have one part in our ratio, and B is going to have three parts. It's a pretty nasty question, it's pretty annoying, it's a little bit tricky. There are some other ways to go about it, but kind of this one for me seems the more most straightforward.